Hi guys! Thank you for coming back to the channel, or for coming to the channel if you've never been here before. Today, I am going to be doing my makeup and just kind of chatting with you guys about something really big and really new that has been going on in my life. So I'm going to put my microphone down right here. Oh, it's got some slobber on it. Not from me. <laughs> Putting my microphone down right to the side there because I want you to meet somebody. <laughs> this is Murph. This is my new baby Murph. He is a nine week old woodle. So he's a wheat and terrier poodle. We just got him three days ago and he has been absolutely precious. It's been a busy last few days, a couple of sleepless nights, but so worth it. Oh my goodness. He's so amazing. So, I'll let you look at him up close. He's got these beautiful green eyes. He's got these gorgeous green eyes and this curly chocolate coat. Oh my goodness. I'm so in love with him. So, so that's our little baby, Murph. For any of you who are a fan of Interstellar, he is named after Murph from Interstellar. It's our favorite movie, so we decided to name him after Murph. Okay, so let's get started with my makeup first. I'm going to put on this headband, keep my hair out of the way. It's really big but it's the only headband that I have, so. <laughs> there we go. And my face has already been moisturized and it is ready to go. So to start, I don't have high-end makeup. I actually only really wear makeup when I'm going out or when I'm filming for you guys. Otherwise, I look like this most of the time. So all of my makeup is just drugstore makeup. To start, I have got this e.l.f. Tone Adjusting Face Primer. It's a green face primer to help get rid of some of this redness here. To help cover it up a little bit. just take one pump and spread it over my face here. I really like this primer. It makes my skin really soft. Okay. I'm so sorry if you can hear Murph in the background. He's chewing on his toy elephant. Okay, so after my primer, I just use a concealer, I mean a, um, what is this, foundation, <laughs> and do my whole face with that. I don't have concealer, so I just use this foundation. It is Revlon Photo Ready Candid. It's in the color 200, and it's nude. It is too light for me. So I use a lot of bronzer. So I don't look so ghostly. All right, I've got my little sponge. It's damp because I find 
that that works better for me. And I do one pump on this side. Make sure I get under here. And I'm just using my camera to <laughs> see what I'm doing. So this might not be the best makeup job ever, but that's okay. I can always fix it. All right. This is how I've been sleeping. He's been in this little crate beside me at night because the first night that crate was on the floor and he started crying about half an hour after he went in there. I ended up sleeping on the floor beside him for the whole night, which was highly uncomfortable <laughs> sleeping. And, uh, I was not ready to do that again. I took my pillows off the bed. I have two pillows. And I grabbed a pillow off the couch to use as a mattress. It was, my back was quite sore by the morning. Move this a bit closer again. Um, yeah, my makeup skills are not professional level I kind of just put the makeup on until it looks good enough <laughs> to me I'm gonna take a, one more pump of this and do my forehead yeah this foundation's pretty light in the summer especially or sunscreen every day, but I still tan. So I have like my summer foundation and my winter foundation because I get pretty pale in the winter too. All right. Get up here, over here, down my neck a bit. And I'm gonna continue on here. So I got my brush here. It's not washed. Still has bronzer on it. And I'm just going to do some bronzing on my face give myself a little bit more color. Okay, so I just use this bronzer. It's Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer. The color 739A Palm Beach Ready. Open it. like that. I'm going to swirl this on there and apply some bronzer here. I use it as a contour kind of, but it does have some shimmer to it. I get my jaw here. Do a little bit here, and I do my whole forehead up here. I 
I find that it's most noticeable on my forehead that my foundation is too light. So I just add some bronzer to it, right like that. Some more. a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then I even take this, I just like pinch my brush a little bit like this and I do a little bit on my nose here. Like I said, I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> not a makeup artist but I do like to have fun with it I do find it very fun I find it's kind of like coloring almost like coloring a picture alrighty so there we go with that okay next I have this This is blush. I'm not sure who it's by. It might be Clinique. I'm not sure. My mom gave it to me. I'm pretty sure it's a sample. But it's just like that. And I use the same brush that I use for my bronzer. And just dab it. And put some blush on. Like that. Right there. got this. Eyebrow pencil. This is by L'Oreal. It's called the Brow Stylist Definer. Brow Stylist Definer Ultra Fine Tip Shaping Pencil in the color Dark Brunette. Comes with a little spoolie on one side. That. Yeah, I gotta use a mirror for this one. That I just brush my eyebrows with. Okay. And then the actual eyebrow pencils on the side. Just twist it up. It's a little stubby thing. And I'm gonna use my mirror for this. I just fill them in where they're a little sparse. My eyebrows have very much been a love-hate relationship for a very long time. <laughs> In high school, the beginning of high school, they were super thick. Well, to go back even further, I have very thick eyebrows. I get it from my dad. Um, 
if I don't pluck them, they're like a hot mess. Okay, I think this is fine. Just a little bit filled in there. Get this side. So yeah, super, I have a very thick eyebrows. Um, and when I was younger, like in grade school, I had super thick eyebrows and a little bit of a unibrow. Um, and so I decided I really wanted to get my eyebrows waxed professionally because I had never plucked them before and people made fun of me for them. So I went and I got my eyebrows waxed. The guy who waxed my eyebrows ruined them. <laughs> no, but he basically gave me like like sperm eyebrows. They were thick here and then they like went up and over. It was horrible, but I mean I was 11. I was happy with them, I guess, because they weren't a unibrow anymore. So <laughs> I had eyebrows like that. And then I let them grow back in, and then in grade 10, they were once again quite thick, and I decided that I really wanted to pluck them. Okay, I think that's good. Don't want them too dark. Let's fill that in a bit there, though. Oops. <laughs> I decided I really wanted to pluck them again and, like, shape them all nicey-nice. So, I went into the bathroom, I grabbed my tweezers, and I plucked the heck out of them until they were, like, this far apart, and they were just two little, like, half-circle eyebrows. They were absolutely horrible. And so I came out of the bathroom, and I went to, up to my mom, and I was like, so, how do they look? And she was like, oh, wow, look at you. She's like, look at those. You sure did pluck those. She's trying to be so nice. But they looked really bad. Oh, here I have a Huda Beauty palette, the warm brown obsessions my unwashed eyeshadow brush and i'm just using this one at the bottom here i usually just use that it's very light sometimes i'll use darker colors but i prefer not to go all out just on a regular day um so yeah my mom was being very nice about my eyebrows but uh, it took a while for those to grow back in. By grade 12, they were still... I mean, they had grown back in. They were closer to this kind of a shape, but... Yeah, no, they were still a, a struggle. I still overplucked them. And finally, I learned to just let them grow pluck around them and finally they're at a point in my life where I can say that I actually like the shape of them which is pretty new for me <laughs> okay so another fun fact I have four younger siblings I'm the oldest of five and my younger sister is five years younger than me She's gorgeous. She's very good at makeup. And she taught me how to do most of what I know about makeup. She taught me how to do my eyeshadow, especially. Because I never wore eyeshadow ever before. Now I don't, like I don't consider my face done without at least something on my eyes 
and that's because of her. So thank you to my sister for teaching me how to do eyeshadow. And I like to just put a little bit more like in the crease and make my crease darker and then kind of blend it, blend it out. All right, that's good. So next, sometimes I'll put this color, this lighter color on my lid or I will take this palette. It's another Huda Beauty Topaz Obsessions and I'll use one of these glittery ones. I usually use this one on my eyelid just to kind of make it pop. I'll do that this time actually. So I take a bit on my finger and just put it right there on my eyelid. So that's a little bit sparkly. So that's done. Okay, to finish up my eyes, I just throw on a few coats of mascara. I never wear eyeliner. I have no idea how to do eyeliner. My sister does. My sister stemmed my eyeliner a couple times. I've never managed to make it look good. So, just take some mascara and put a few coats on like that. I like to try to really get them filled in close to around my eye. Here, just a bit of mascara. Look at the other side. Okay, just get some length, as much length as I can. A little bit more on that side. Whoops, <laughs> I hate when that happens. Oh, okay, I think that's good. For my lips, I'm just gonna use this colored chapstick. Um, I got it as a gift from a friend. My lips are really dry right now. It's mint flavor. Like chocolate mint. And that's it. That's it, that's all. Take my hair down. Makeup done. There we go. There we go. I know that video was probably not really relaxing, but yeah, that's how I do my makeup. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe for more content. Thank you so much.